Well, good day. Welcome back. Uh, so it's been a little, few weeks, but it's time for the results of the muscle car competition. Three hundred subscriber one. Um, we ended up with six entries. We've got white one able. First entry, good on him. Uh, dry shaft Drew. D Pagnell. Gonzo Gary. Carolina man. And Delta one NZ. So thanks everyone for entering. Really appreciate it. Good on you. It's a lot of work there. So. Uh, yeah. see if we can work out what's what so go to car number one so generally the consensus was it was a Ford it's a tea bucket someone said it was 27 someone else said it was 1923 uh, <clears throat> to me Google image search suggested it was a 1923 so there we go if you put 1923 Ford Model T, which Carolina man did, I think that's the right one. So we'll go with 1923 Ford T bucket for that one. So Carolina man got that one. If you can prove otherwise, cool. All right, let's get on to number two. You weren't wrong for putting any other kind of tea bucket, but. That was the most specific. Number two, whatever this one was. So we had a couple of different answers here. Buick seemed to be the best one. Oh, I forgot to say, um, D Pagnell, number one, wasn't the HMS Arc Royal. Just to let you know. And number two, I don't think so that's on 20Y. Pretty cool cars, but that's not the answer. Uh, so a choice between a 1959 Buick and Victor. Uh, or a Buick, 1959 Buick Electra. I couldn't work out what the difference was between the two. So you both get a point for that. Who else got that one? White one able, Chrysler of some kind. No, not quite. Delta one Z, Buick and Victor. Did but a year. 1959 and Victor for Carolina Man. 1959 Electra for Drive Shaft Drew. So if you know what the difference is, let me know. Because I don't. Wikipedia didn't. So yeah, there we go. So I think I gave half a point for Buick and Victor Electra. Well, I can have a whole point to be fair. Yeah, you got a point for that. If you put an answer that said Buick at the beginning, you got a got a point. Now we're going to carry on. What do we got next? So oh, we're going to get on to the Inland Scenic Highway first. There we go. Now we come up onto the Ashley Bridge. And we come up with number three. What do we get there? So white one able, no clue. Dry shaft drew 1968 Holden. Uh, Carolina man said it was a Holden. Gonzo Gary thought that was a Capri. Uh, D. Pagnell, Millennium Falcon. Uh, but no, it's none of those. Delta 1 NZ, quite correctly picked that out as a Ford Falcon. It's an XA. XA? Yeah, it's an XA. XA Falcon. Just so you know, pretty cool cars, Falcons. Much better than Holden's. But there we go. That was number three. So Delta 1 NZ got the only one who got a point for that one. Next up, what do we got? Uh, carry on. Number four, clearly a Mustang of some sort. Uh, not a Hillman imp. D. Pagnell. Mustang Gonzo Gary, yep. Yeah. 67 Mustang Carolina Man. Delta 1 NZ Mustang Notchback 65 ish. Close. Uh, six, drive shaft Drew, 67 Mustang, two door green with black top, V8 automatic, 289, engine most common. What a detail there, Drew. Good work. Uh, white one able, early Mustang. Yeah, that's an early Mustang. That's a Mustang. Cool. Uh, come through Ashley. Number five. Carmen Gear. Carmen Gear. It's not Vatican City. Coming gear convertible, Delta 1 NZ. Yep, that'll do. 
64 Carmen gear. Good on you, Drew. A lot of detail there. Just Carmen gear. It's about one of the few ones I got first time around. We're flying through here. Number six. That's one of them Trans Am do dab. What's it? Cool in the 80s, probably. He put, he put some in these days. 7980 Trans Am, Carolina Man. Uh, where are we up to? Firebird, Gonzo Gary. Pontiac Firebird Trans Am with Burt Reynolds driving. Delta 1NZ. AC Invercar Model 57 Disability Carriage. Close. T Pagnell. Uh, 78 Pontiac Firebird Black 2 door T Tops. 350 Automatic, most common. He knows his cars, does Drew. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know my car, so who knows? White one able, T Bird, good on white. I guess it's a T Bird. Next up, what do we got? Number seven. Uh, Thunderbird, yeah, it looks like a Thunderbird to me. I have to recognise that one. So Carolina Man thinks it's a 61 62. Gonzo Gary, Thunderbird. <coughs> Sorry, I'm slowly dying here. Delta 1 and third Thunderbird. Not a rally chopper. 61 Thunderbird, two door V8, 394 barrel. T Bird. Yeah. Coming through. Uh, number 8, another Mustang. 67. Mustang. John Deere. T550 Combine. Close. Mustang Notchback. He loves his Notchbacks. Wait, right. Delta One NZ. I don't think he's very good at parking. He keeps reversing his Mustang into things and calls him a Notchback. Mustang. 68 Mustang. It's a Mustang. Uh, flying on through. Come up to the chipboard factory. Daikin. Somewhere. There you go. Nice. No, it's a Corvette. It's a Corvette. It's a Corvette. It's not a Midland DF25A hand pallet truck. Corvette, Corvette, Corvette. Nine's a Corvette. Ten's a Corvette. Eleven's a Corvette. Yeah, come on through. Twelve. What was it? Twelve was an interesting one, I thought. Uh, so what do we get for 12? White one able, no clue. Fair enough. Dry shaft drew a 67 Falcon. Ford Falcon. D Pagnol. Let's not even go there. Uh, Gonzo Gary. Falcon. Falcon. And Delta 1 NZ, Ford Falcon XT, it looks like an XT to me, it's kind of of that right vintage, whatever year that is, 70, early 70s, 74 or something. 12, number 13. Plymouth, Plymouth Fury, Plymouth Fury, Plymouth, Plymouth Fury. Not too sure there. 14, can't really miss that one. 14 with a. Another, another Mustang. With, Mustangs are pretty popular here for some reason. Mustang, Mustang, Mustang. Oh, it's not even a car. Oh, yeah. Busted that, hang on. Right. 15. But that's the other car I got was a Ford Capri. Mark 1, Mark 1 and Mark 2. Mark 1. My dad used to have one as a company car, but that's another story. Uh, so, uh, Delta 1 got that. Capri Mark 1. Conzo Gary got a Capri. Carolina Man got a Mercury Capri. Uh, Mercury's a Ford brand, isn't it? I don't know if he had them as Mercury Capris over there. 74 Capri, yep. Dry shaft Drew. Oh, yeah. Whites. 
Give it his best. 15. 16. Right. I spent a lot of time on Google and various places. I could not work that out. So the options we had were 30 U. That's probably the bit of a catch-all, but that's probably as close as we're going to get. Uh, Delta 1 and Z, a Ford Popular U. No, I couldn't match that with any pictures of a Ford Popular U I could find. Uh, Dodge from Gonzo Gary. I couldn't find a Dodge that looked like that. Um, dry shaft drill, 1935 Ford one-ton farm truck. Again, I couldn't get any Ford one-ton farm trucks to look like that. They were much heavier duty than that, from what I could see. White when able, it's a truck. That's pretty close. Pretty close. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I just don't know. And the last one, we're coming into... Uh, Head into the village. Come around the corner. Yeah, that was 17 there. Uh, so what do we got? 32 Ford, white one able. Drive shaft true, 1932 Buick Roadster. Uh, Carolina man, a 32 Ford 5 window model A. Uh, Delta 1 NZ. He just plain forgot to put anything down, so. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, he doesn't get any points. Carolina Man, again, for my research, it looked more like the Ford 5 Window Model A than it did the Buick Roadster. So. But it didn't look totally like that one, so I think I'd end up with half a point there for you. But good effort. So how did we end up? How did we end up? So we'll start off with White One Able. 8 out of 17 from my marking system. So good work, good effort. You were the first one to enter, so that's pretty brave of you. You got your answers in early, so really good effort, I'd say. And next here we got uh, D Pagnall. He gets an honorary mention. Uh, the Dalai Lama's favourite donkey. I don't think I saw that anywhere along the way. I don't think it's been to... New Zealand. But yeah, good on you. Made me chuckle. Thanks for entering. Uh, what was next? Gonzo Gary. Then he ended up with 12 out of 17 from the marking system. Really good effort. Good on you. Well then, Gonzo Gary. Uh, down to three. Dry shaft Drew. Carolina Man. Delta 1 NZ. Uh, Delta 1 NZ only put down 16 cards. So we're just going to eliminate it anyway. Controversial, I know, but what can you do? You've got to find a winner somewhere. Uh, he had a 13 and a half out of 17. But what can you do? It's the only one who got the Australian Ford Falcons. So good on him for that. Um, so yeah, tough. You don't win. Uh, so between Carolina Man, Dry Shaft Drew, you both score 13 and a half out of 17 as well. Um, so we could have a tiebreaker. It could happen. But that sounds way too hard. I think we'll just send you both something, eh? So, Carolina Man, great work. Dry Shaft Drew, great work. Both put a lot of effort into that. Both know your cars. Yeah, well done. I'll send you both something. I'll send you a message and um, get on the way to you. So thanks for entering. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, supporting the channel. See you at the next one. Cheers.